walking through public space, data is being collected about people all the time in various forms. Surveillance technology isn't really invisible. It's something that you can see very easily if you know what to look for. So right now we are standing outside of the office building that houses the Domain Awareness System. The Domain Awareness System pulls in feeds from surveillance cameras, both police-owned and some private. It pulls data from automated license plate readers, traffic sensors and sources, into a single processing and analysis center run by the NYPD, developed in collaboration with Microsoft, launched in 2012. A single surveillance camera may not be that useful, but having surveillance cameras all over the place that can track the movements of somebody throughout a city can be very useful. Those are some automated license plate readers. There's also a pair of them on the back of that NYPD vehicle over there. So what they're actually doing is photographing and basically, you know, identifying license plates. These aren't like targeted against a specific person. These take a photograph of every single vehicle, so completely innocent drivers are stored in a database somewhere. Shot spotters are basically acoustic sensors that are designed to detect gunfire. If three or more devices register a sound event simultaneously, that audio recording will be sent to a processing center. A technician will listen to the audio and determine whether or not it's a gunshot, and then if it is a gunshot, dispatch that information to a police department. Shot spotters are supposed to address the fact that despite gunfire being a problem in lots of cities, not many people always call 911 when they hear a gunshot, um, for a lot of reasons. There have been two incidents in which audio of people's voices were caught in a recording and used actually in court cases against people in shooting incidents. So we are pretty sure that up there on top of that building is a shot spotter. I'm hesitant to like definitively call anything. Like I definitely found it without somebody actually corroborating that, but that's the closest thing I've seen. One of the things that's definitely in public space in a lot of cities in America, but a lot harder to see and point at are stingrays. Cell phones are basically constantly seeking out towers that belong to their carriers. What a stingray will do is basically imitate a cell tower, which will then send metadata about that particular phone to that device. The primary thing they do is indicate that a particular phone was in a particular location at a particular time. They can also intercept calls. They can obviously kind of by extension like collect metadata about those calls. Knowing if there's a stingray around is really hard. In New York, particularly, if you see those kind of big like mobile command units, if there's anywhere that you would be reviewing intercepted material from a stingray, that seems like the most likely spot. Being able to identify surveillance technologies in public space doesn't magically make them go away or it doesn't make them stop doing what they're doing. It is kind of worth paying attention to if Nothing else for the fact that it is kind of designed to be ignored. But being able to understand the specifics of what kinds of technologies are being used by whom and against whom is important for being able to effectively challenge their uses.